zip folder. So um, if you've ever wondered how to zip in all the contents of an entire folder in Linux, um, we're, we're going to show you how to do that today. So we're, we're not going to show you a lot of other things. We're just going to focus on this one task. I'm going to do another video later showing you how to do anything you might want to do with file compression on Linux. But today, we're, we're just going to zip a folder. So uh, let, let, let's take a look and see. We, we have a terminal on our server right here. And um, we see we have a, a directory called my data. So let, let's take a look in that directory. All right, we have, uh, we have four files in here named 1.txt, 2.txt, 3.txt, and 4.txt. So um, we want to zip this whole directory and include it in a zip file. We, we can just say zip-r, and th this is going to fail because we don't, we don't have the zip command on here, but we'll show you how to fix that. We say folder1.zip. So this is, uh, yeah, we'll just give it that. You know what, let's call it my data, just, just to match. My data. Dot zip and yeah, we don't need that. Say my data and um, there we go. That that's the command you're looking for right there. Just hit enter and um, there there we go. Like I said, it, it failed. No problem. We can just install the command. So um, this is going to require sudo access. If you don't have that, you can ask your admin to install it for you. But if you're watching this, chances are you are the admin or maybe a developer who who doesn't have root access and does need to ask an admin. Any case, um, sudo apt install zip. Yes. So it'll take a second. And there we go. Problem number one solved. Hopefully there isn't a problem number two. All right, let's see. Now we can continue on our way. Say zip dash r my data. Um, yeah, there we go. And as we see, it uh, it first of all added the directory, um, then it added all four of those files. All right, let's see here. Clear. Now um, let, let's say if we remove that directory rm rf my data. All right. And one sec here on Z. All right, so we, we might want to uh, test this out. So if we, if we want to actually make sure this file successfully was, all, all the data was zipped the way we expected it to, we, we might do something like this. We're going to say, all right, let's verify our data is empty, our directory is empty right here. We can say unzip my data. Now we're expecting it to not only give us those files, but we're expecting the actual directory to be unzipped as well. So unzip it, and there we go. We actually have our directory here and the files that were inside it. So let, let, let's take a look to verify. CD my data. There are our files. Um, let's cat one just to make sure it actually has contents. And then there we go. We have some junk data that I put in the file just to give it some content. So there we go. We, we have zipped and unzipped. We have zipped a directory, an, an entire folder into a zip file. And we've uh, successfully unzipped it and verified that it's there. So that, that's how you zip things. That's how you zip files and well, how you zip uh, folders and directories in Linux, not an individual file. But um, it's, it's not too far off if you want to do an individual file, too. So we'll, we'll cover more in, a, in future videos. If this was useful, feel free to like and subscribe. If it wasn't useful, feel free to leave a nasty comment in the comments section of the video. Um, I always like to, to hear feedback, good or bad. If you want to, uh, pretty, pretty much anything you want to say, just feel free to leave a comment. And uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for uh, watching. Hopefully this helped.